Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. This is my final team selection for Game Week 38 and actually the last video that I'm going to be making during this season. So if you are excited for it, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment what players are you going to be bringing in for the final game week. Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So, starting things off, let's take a look at how I did in double game week 37. It was a very rocky start, but it actually finished pretty nicely for me. I got very, very lucky, I'm not going to lie, from Trippier coming off the bench for Diaz. Diaz didn't play in either of the games. I mean, it was lucky because I got the Trippier 9-pointer, but it was also unlucky because I've basically just wasted a transfer on Diaz. Like, I just didn't have to do that. I got rid of Botman for Diaz, and Diaz didn't play. Apparently, he's got a knock. I don't think he's got a knock. I think he's just really hung over or something. I'm really hoping he plays in the last game. And hopefully we do get some team news about it beforehand because I think I'm going to have a lot of benchings this week. But I did finish on 75 points, uh, up to 26k in the world. I want to finish top 25k. Top 10k is a little bit out of reach now. I think I'm like 30 points off that or something crazy. So that's not going to happen. Top 25 though, I'd be very, very happy with that. And I'm like a thousand off. So I need a decent week just to get me over the line. Another green arrow should get me into the top 25k. But yeah, finished on 75 points. Kepa got me three. Should have just played Raya. Um, still got it wrong, even though that Raya had like a bad fixture. I think he had like Spurs away or Spurs at home. And then uh, Kepa, who had a double. Wasn't expecting Kepa to do much, but literally did nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, Kepa got me three. Shaw got me 10. Came off at half time with that back injury, which is another issue. Estepinion getting four. A little bit different to his last double game week, but it is what it is. Trippier coming off the bench. Absolute hero, getting me nine points. Low owned this week as well, because I would think I was... I was in the minority of people that got him off the bench. I think if, like, Rashford didn't play, then a lot of people would have got him off the bench. But I think I got pretty lucky with that. Uh, but Rashford obviously did get seven. Salah got five. Matoma got seven. Fernandez getting that penalty got 11. Hit the crossbar as well. That would have been massive if that went in. Uh, McAllister getting six points. Isaac getting me one. And then Haaland captaincy me, uh, getting me 12. Would have gone... I mean, should have gone Fernandez captaincy, obviously, but, you know, is what it is. Rea getting me four, Diaz getting zero, Henry getting one, and Greenwood getting one. So that's how I finished double game week 37. A pretty nice score um, and into very, very close range of that 25k. So let's go over my team selection for the final game week. And this is what it's looking like on paper right now. So I'm going to go with Rea in goal against City at home. I'm really hoping that like City just don't field a good team apart from they do field Diaz and then it finishes nil-nil. That would be absolutely perfect. Um, it's not going to happen, but that would be absolutely perfect. But yeah, I think I'm going to go Rea over um, Kepa just because I, I kind of have to play Isaac and Trippier this way due to injuries and benchings and stuff like that. So there's no point of really playing both Isaac and Trippier against Kepa. I know I've got two City players playing um, Rea, but I think Rea will probably make more save points. He's just been very much more consistent than Kepa. This would be the week that Kepa outscores him, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I've got Estepinion away at Villa. Obviously, Diaz potentially away at Brentford. We'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, we get team news. And then I'm going to have to play Trippier this week away at Chelsea. But seeing how bad Chelsea were last night, I'm absolutely fine playing Newcastle. Like, the, the bad thing about my team is nobody really has anything to play for now. Maybe Newcastle and United do because they will want to finish third. I think you get, like, more money and stuff the higher you obviously finish in the league. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, they probably will have something to play for in regards to that. But uh, I think if there is an injury like Luke Shaw, I don't think he's going to be risked because especially with the FA Cup final. So uh, that's why I don't think Shaw is going to play at all, unfortunately. We'll have to see uh, press conference news to, and stuff. Obviously, I'm recording this beforehand. Um, in midfield, I've got McAllister, who's got Villa away. Rashford, who's got Fulham at home. Fernandez, who's got Fulham at home. Matoma, who's got Villa away. And then Salah, who's got Southampton away. Um, again, Brighton don't really have anything to play for. I would like McAllister to start, to start because it'll probably be his last game as a Brighton player. Although I thought he was going to start in the last game because it was going to be his last home game as a Brighton player, but didn't even start. So that was unfortunate. Matoma potentially could start. This is what I mean. There could be so many benchings. Like out of my team, I might have like six players playing. It just generally will come down to that. Uh, but yeah, Salah away at Southampton. And then up top, we've got Isaac, who's got Chelsea away. Haaland, who's got Brentford away. So um, obviously my captaincy is currently on Haaland. That could easily change with early team news. I'm, I'm begging we get early team news because my, play, my team could be all over the shop if we don't. Um, and yeah, hopefully Shaw is okay. But again, I don't think they're going to risk him for the FA Cup final. Uh, I mean, it, 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 he only really lost out on one point anyway because Chelsea uh, still, did, Chelsea did score in the last like few minutes, which I was very happy about because the Hay owners were about to get two clean sheets and he was going to get like 14, 15 points maximum, which was would have been horrible. But uh, yeah, luckily he they, they did score, so it wasn't actually that bad. I think he still made quite a few saves last night and then finished on three. But uh, yeah, that's how my team is currently looking. 
Let's move into the transfer for the final game week of 38. Again, I really don't want to take a hit this week because there's a lot less time for a hit to come off. And especially because if I take a hit to get like Izak out, you know, if Izak does start, he's probably going to get two points. And then um, obviously my player that I take a hit with will have to like get a return, obviously, to make it better. Like obviously you don't have multiple weeks for that return to kind of come. So that's why I'm less likely to take a hit this week. It's a little bit different if like... Let's say Diaz is benched or Diaz isn't even in the squad. That's a player that's just not going to get me any points regardless. So it kind of goes from a minus four to a minus two because obviously that Diaz isn't going to be getting those two points that you would have if he played. So that's why if, you know, my player is just not in the squad, I'm more inclined to take a hit for that player. So there's obviously a number of things that I could do here. I've got 2.5 mil in the bank. If Haaland is benched, I mean, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'll probably go to Kane. Um, I didn't really think about this move that much, but um, I, I think it's just a no-brainer, really. And I'll probably captain him as well um, against Leeds away. I mean, Leeds obviously have to win that game to stay up. But, you know, I, I think Kane will still nick a couple of goals, really. So that's one thing I could do. I'm only going to do that, though, if Haaland is benched. So if Haaland is not benched, then I will obviously start Haaland and I'll probably captain him. Um, if he uh, is starting and that's fine, then I'll probably get rid of either Diaz or Shaw, depending on um, who who's obviously benched and stuff. In fact, I think I actually can't get rid of... No, I'm point one off actually bringing in Trent for uh, Shaw, which is really, really annoying. So I wouldn't be able to make that move. I'd have to bench Shaw. So I'd have to take Diaz out um, or Trippier. But again, Trippier should play, so there's no reason for me to do that. So I'd have to get rid of Diaz as long as Diaz isn't playing. If Diaz does play... Um, <laughs> It's annoying, though, because I want to bring Trent in for damage control, but that doesn't really give me a good punt for the last day of the season. I kind of just want to go for that good punt on the last last day of the season. So uh, I think it'll probably be a midfielder that I get rid of, really. And um, again, depending on early team news, it'll obviously be McAllister or Matoma. If one of them is benched, then I'll probably get rid of one of them for most likely Eze. Um, maybe Erdegaard, something like that. I could go Erdegaard, I could go Eze. Um, again, it... It's hard to say right now because team news could completely change my mind on everything. I'm not going to make a, a goalkeeper transfer as much as like Allison is probably a good transfer this week. I'm, I'm not going to do that. There's just no reason to. Uh, Ray can easily get a couple of save points. Can easily finish on like three or something um, against City. Again, it depends who they, they they field. If they field like another week inside, then that rare clean sheet gets a little bit more likely. Uh, but yeah, I just think Kepa's just a little bit in the bin regardless as an option. So yeah, there's obviously that. Um, another option is, you know, if he does start Firmino, I mean, if it, it'll, be, it'll be his last game for Liverpool. So he could be a really, really good shout for, um, for the final game. And I could get rid of Izak for him. But again, if Izak's starting, then I, I'm not really in the mood to get rid of any players that are going to definitely be starting because it's just not going to be in my best interest. So again, it's it's hard to say, but I think as of right now, if Haaland is benched, I bring Kane in. Um, if Diaz is benched, I probably bring Trent in. Um, and then if everyone's playing, then, and apart from if McAllister and Matoma are benched, then I'll probably be bringing in Eze, Saka, or Erdegaard, one of those. Again, taking a hit, I will only do if like I've got multiple benches. If I've got like four players that are benched and I have to take a hit to bring in another player, um, then yeah, it, I'll, I'll obviously come down to that. I'll probably bring in like Diaz. I'll probably take out Diaz for Trent if he's benched. And then, yeah, if Matoma or McAllister are benched, I'll probably get rid of one of those for Eze or something like that. Um, I just think that's the best option, really. I feel like Eze will have a really good game as well with that England call-up. So we'll have to see what happens there. But uh, yeah, in, in regards to everything, that's that's pretty much all I'm really going to be doing. There's not really too much to talk about because, again, my team could easily change. Um, that's just a couple of... Um, ways that I could go depending on different players whether they're benched or not so this is how I'm looking right now Diaz could easily be Trent um obviously Haaland could be Kane or McAllister or Matoma could be Odegaard or Saka or Eze I think that's what I'm going to be doing but uh yeah I mean we could have like Rashford being benched as well again it could all go terrible and I've only got Henry on the bench who's got also Man City at home don't really want to play double Brentford defense against City at home I don't think it's going to go that well but it might just have to be what I have to do. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be everything for my final video of this season. A big thank you to everybody for the support. I hope the videos have helped you throughout the season. And uh, hopefully next season we can come back bigger and stronger. And I'll probably do a lot more videos during the week and stuff like transfer tips and everything. I feel like I dropped off on those this week, uh, this year. Um, so I do apologize about that. But, yeah, I'll be doing team selections. I haven't done a wild card draft in a while as well. I do apologize. Um, so yeah, next next season we'll come back bigger and stronger. 
and uh, we'll smash it out of the park. We'll try and hit 10K at the end of the 2023-2024 season. But yeah, thank you so much for the support this year. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, have, a, have a great rest of the season. Best of luck for the final game week. And until next time, guys, have a great one and peace.